Right, this is the second part of the LXL C1 paper from 2006. Uh, tips and hints. Question 6. Now, um, what we've got here, I'm got, I've got three different colours on my so I'll do this one. This one here moves everything left one, doesn't it? So it's the same curve, but it's just been shifted uh, shifted this way one okay so because it's plus one uh, it becomes it shifts it minus one along um, again mark the points uh, so this right, basically the x values go down by one the y values don't change do they so there you go right now for this one here okay it's gonna get twice as big but this this point's gonna stay the same this point's going to multiply by 2, and this point here, okay, is not going to change. All right, for this point here, okay, um, this point doesn't change, not no change, but these points, okay, this one and this one multiply by two because it's being expanded it's being made wider isn't it it's twice as wide okay so there you go right question seven we've got a series here haven't we? we've got an arithmetic series show that immediately after a 12th birthday total allowances is um uh, received with 1200 pound now it's only one mark so you shouldn't have to do a huge amount. So the first year, year one is 500. Year two is, for, oops, plus year two is 500 plus 200. Oh, and would you look at that? That adds up to make 1,200. Find the amount of Alice's uh, allowance on her 18th birthday. Well, we've got the first, we're going to be using this, A plus, oh, that's not very well written. There we go, A plus N minus 1D. Okay, and you know that it should be 500 plus 8 minus 1, and then the difference is 200. So there you go, that should be nice and easy. Part C, uh, find the total allowances she uh, received up to and including her 18th birthday. So you're going to be using this S to the about 8. Um, 8 over 2 is the formula from the formula booklet, 2 times where A is 500, D is 200, right, and N is uh, 8, so 8 minus 1 times 200, okay, chuck that in, alright, now, uh, when the total of the allowances that Alice received uh, reaches 32,000, the allowance is stopped, so we've got to find you doing S to the N um, equals uh, N over 2. We don't know how many years that is, right? But we do know 2 times 500 uh, plus N minus 1 times 200. And instead of, I'm, in fact, I didn't really need to write this bit, did I, here? I'm just going to make that equal to... 32,000. Solve that equation and you're done. Question 8. It says uh, the curve of the equation, y equals f of x, passes through that point given that that. So we've got to integrate first. Um, so when we integrate, we're integrating this. Uh, now you're going to have to do some simplifying, aren't you? So uh, you've got to do 5x to the power 3 over 2. Right, we've got x to the power 2 minus x to the power half, well, divided by x to the power of half, so 2 minus a half is 1 and a half, or 3 over 2, plus 2 to the x minus a half, right, dx. That is what you're integrating. Right, remember you've got a plus c, but you're going to put in that point there, right, 1, 6, to find out what c is. I'll give you a clue now that c equals negative three all right so you should be able to do the rest of that question nine it says write down the coordinate sorry the x coordinate of p and the x coordinate of q now 
if we're looking at this, you get those by factorising this, and that's a difference of two squares. You ought to know that this here is x plus 2, x minus 2. So therefore, uh, so p, the x coordinate is going to be minus 2, and for q, the x coordinate is going to be plus 2. Show that dy dx is this, where you need to multiply out the brackets before you do anything. So multiply out the brackets, you get something like this. Um, you get x cubed uh, minus x squared minus 4x plus 4. Um, differentiate that and it will give you the answer they've shown you. Uh, C, show that y equals x plus 7 is an, is an equation of a tangent to C at point minus 1, 6. Now, uh, what we've got to do is uh, put in, uh, if you put in, hold on, I'm going to change colour, negative 1 into your differential here, your gradient function. Right, you find that uh, the gradient is 1. Okay, and then you're going to be doing your y minus, uh, where is it? It's minus 1, 6, isn't it? Oh, look, oh, there it is. Yeah, y minus 6 equals 1, brackets, x plus 1. Multiply all that out, you should end up with this here. Okay, so there you go. Now then, last little bit, which is falling off my screen a tiny bit. There we go. Um, we've got, it says the tangent to C at the point R is parallel to the tangent point. So you know that dy dx, this here, 3x squared minus 2x minus 4, oops, minus 2x minus 4, equals, now what's the gradient of that? It was 1. Solve that equation. All right, uh, you should get two answers, one of which is x plus 1 when you factorise. Okay, and the other one will be the coordinates of R. Find the x value and stick it into y to find the y value. It won't be very nice, it will be a fraction. Okay, question 10, finally. All right, so we've got uh, find the values of the constants A and B, where you're completing the square, aren't you? So, um you should end up with uh, something like x plus 1 all squared minus 1 plus 3. So simplify that. A is, hold on, A is this one and B is this. So there you go. All right, sketch the graph of that. Now, if I sketch the graph, it's going to look something like this. All right. It's going to look like this here, with that, and it says mark on any coordinates of intersections. Well, it's going to mark, oh, it's going to cross the y-axis at three, because we've got three up here. Okay, three here, three. All right, find the value of the discriminant. Now, you should know that that's the b squared minus four ac bit of the quadratic formula, so substitute in A, B and C. And then part D, find a set of possible values of K, where K is a constant. So um, basically you've got to, K is B, so you've got K squared um, minus four times one times three is less than zero, okay? And you've got to solve that. You should get limits. So you'll get you'll end up with something like this with a, a value here and a value here. Alright, and there are your limits for K.